welcome back to the channel in 2021 and in today's video i'm gonna show you how to create this sketch manipulation effect now 2020 has been a crazy ridiculous year for me and the channel it's been a very exciting year because i went from 100 subscribers to 2000 subscribers i managed to monetize the channel by christmas which is super amazing i've launched my first course which is called the art of photo manipulation this is a more advanced photo manipulation course so if you're interested in learning everything that i know about photo manipulation make sure to check out the link down below in the description and for all you beginners out there that are just starting out in affinity photo i will do my best to create my affinity photo beginner course before the end of this month but enough said let's dive right into the world of photo manipulation again and let me show you how to create this awesome sketch manipulation effect let's go All right, so we've jumped into Affinity Photo and this is the image that I want to apply the sketch effect or the sketch manipulation effect on. So first things first, we got to make a copy of the original. So let's do that right away. Let's select the original and let's press Command J to make a duplicate and we're gonna rename this one sketch. So the second thing that I want to do is I want to desaturate our sketch layer. So there are multiple ways we can do this. However, I'm gonna open a Vibrance adjustment layer. Uh, so let's go down here. Let's click on Vibrance and I'm gonna drag the saturation slider all the way to the left. So as you can see right now, we've turned our image into a black and white image. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to set my sketch layer to color dodge so i want to change the blending mode to color dodge so let's select the sketch layer let's go up here and change the blend mode to color dodge the next thing that we want to do is we want to invert our sketch layer so there are multiple ways how we can do this however i prefer to use keyboard shortcuts so select the sketch layer and press command i my sketch layer was a an image layer but you cannot really invert image layers or you can basically not do anything to image layers. So Affinity Photos Assistant turned our layer into a pixel layer by rasterizing it for us. And now you can see that we've inverted our layer. Now, this looks kind of weird because you barely see anything. Our canvas is almost pure white, but this is going to change in just a bit. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to apply a Gaussian blur live filter to our sketch layer so let's go down here to the live filters and let's click on gaussian blur and let's increase the radius just a tiny bit and as you can see once i do that you can slowly see the image reappearing so if we drag this one too far it just doesn't really look like a sketch effect it looks more like a really old black and white photo but if we keep it rather low like 0.3 maybe this is the effect that i want to go for now in this case you don't really see anything yet and that is because we can still enhance the sketch effect so let's select our sketch layer and let's press command l which is the keyboard shortcut for a levels adjustment layers and now what i want to do to improve this effect is i want to drag my black level slider to the right so let's do that right now and as you can see, once I drag this one to the right and I release it, you can see that we've got a really, really nice sketch effect going on in this image. Now, we are not done yet. And that is because I want to make it look like the guy isn't sketched, but the whole background is sketched. So it's basically like the guy is in a sketch world or something. So how to do this? We basically have to mask out the guy and we can do this by simply making a selection of the guy so let's first select our vibrance levels and our sketch layer so i click on the sketch i hold shift and i click on the top layer and now let's group them together and we are gonna call the group sketch effect now let's disable this for now and let's go back to our original layer and let's grab our quick selection brush or the selection brush tool and let's make a selection of our guy. So I simply brush over the guy and as you can see, Affinity Photo will do its best to make a nice selection of, um, of our subject, let's say. So let's zoom in a little bit so we can see it from a little closer. Here I selected a little bit too much, so how to um, 
deselect it that is by holding alt or option and simply brush over the areas where you made a mistake i should say now what we can also do with um the selection brush tool is we can also go into quick mask mode so let's press q to enter quick mask mode and from here you can basically see what you're selecting pretty quickly and pretty easily so now when we brush over our subject you can easily see what we've selected and what we didn't select or what we haven't selected yet so this is kind of a trick to um that works very well with the quick selection brush and let's start selecting a shoe and the other shoe as well so this looks pretty good to me now I missed a little bit of the fingers right over here so let's select his nails as well because we want to have his full hand and that's basically it. Now there's also another way to change the preview of this so now we actually have this red overlay but we can go up here to our menu bar and we can click on this one and now we can actually change the preview so we can show our mask as uh, black we can show it as white and we can show it as transparent, but somehow in this case, it's not really working. So let's just leave it like it is. And let's press Q again to leave quick mask mode. So now we have a selection of our guy. Now we want to put him on its own layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click our uh, original layer and I'm gonna select rasterize so that we turn it into a pixel layer. And now I press command J to copy this guy on its own layer and I'm gonna drag this one all the way to the top and once I apply the sketch effect right now you can see that we've got a guy in a sketch world now we can even enhance this image a little bit further and that is by selecting the original image and creating a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and we have to decrease the brightness just a tiny little touch maybe three percent or four percent or something like that and we just enhance our sketch a little better so this was the before it was basically just completely white with some gray lines on top of it and now when we decrease the brightness a little bit we see a little more of the surroundings let's say so i prefer this a little little better now before I show you the end result, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are looking forward to what's coming in 2020 and you have some suggestions on videos or anything that I should create, leave it down below in the comments to help me and to help the community out to create an awesome creative affinity photo year. All right, thanks for watching and let me show you the end result.